Today we are going to be chatting about our businesses, well, our little babies. So, Siobhan. Oh, you're starting. No, well you can start. No, you Soz, no, you go. <laughs> so. Yes. Tom. Mm -hmm. How is my weight counselling going? My weight counselling is going really well. Yes. I'm really, yes. I'm really loving it. Um, it's very fulfilling, and I love the fact that we live in an incredible world now that, you know, the internet has just changed everything. And I know, I, you're doing it all virtual. Yeah, it's all virtual, um, it's completely online. Most of the fellows that I'm working with at the moment are from the UK. So good, um, best crew. Yes, well, there you go, <laughs> true. Um, I'm absolutely loving it, but what I really find, which is interesting, is like, I'm trying to target a specific market of, of men that are kind of like, if they were depressed or going through something some, like severe, they're kind of at the other end of that now where they want to find, you know, a, a mission. They want to find a purpose to attach themselves yeah. to now. Um, because, you know, depression, when, when someone's going through something really severe, and you and I have studied trauma, PTSD, depression relentlessly, it's a bit of a different beast, you know. And when I was, um, and we've worked with people that have, um, that are going through that sort yeah. of stuff, especially with the shed. People. You, you work with people like mm. that, you know. Um, but I wanted to target that kind of person because I didn't realise it at the time, but I was very fascinated in entrepreneurship, you know, because I was doing that sort of stuff as well. I was trying to build a business. And um, as I was working with a lot of the fellas, still am working with a lot of the fellas, a lot of them, you know, have now kind of like, to use a cliche, found themselves and they want to attach themselves to a mission mm. and eliminate finally those anxious thoughts for good and a lot of them are moving into entrepreneurship so, so good. it's so awesome good. because we live in a world where you actually can now, these days. you know and um anyway what i have started to think about now is why not make my mate counseling my mate consulting and that will then incorporate some of the entrepreneurial skills i've learned along the way too so it would be like counseling, business development, and um, exercise nutrition from our experiences, CrossFit yeah. coaches, um, for as long as we did. Mm. Because then way, that way it's more it's more well-rounded. I just love solving problems. It's so bloody yeah. fun. Yeah, and you've been you know? helping them with their like, business stuff as well. So it's yeah. Really good. yeah, half of it's been you know psychology-related, and the other half's pretty much been business-related. You so might as well like, do both. Well. Switch it up and, and do that, you know? Yeah, so wow. I'm, I'm loving it. It's really fun. And I get to write my books every morning which is fun hopefully the second book will be out now um, hopefully well hopefully in about a year's time I would say we can all put the pressure on now yes what's the book going to be called Life Behind the Curtain um, Cultivating Conscious Awareness so it's like taking someone through a, a, an ego death an ego transformation and an ego rebirth which basically means like your identity is no longer serving you or something changes in your life so dramatically that you can't be that person anymore. Mm. And the anecdote that I give is, for example, like a, 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 a lovely, beloved um, mother of two who finds her husband um, cheating on her. And what I mean that you can't be that person anymore. Who she was was a happily married wife. And then obviously she found out that that's not the case. So her ego dies in that moment. And then it's transformed um, and then is obviously moves through a rebirth of becoming someone else. And there's a whole heap of neuroscience in it and heaps of philosophy and heaps spirituality. Heaps of mind, mind geeking out. Yes. It's a super deep book, um, but, but it's my it's my baby. And I bore the shit out of you talking about it. I know. I'm like such a... We're, this is where we're not the same. So yeah. I'm like, tell me directly exactly what you want or exactly what that means in no roundabout way whatsoever. And Tom likes to explore it and explain and dive in. I'm like, so that just means what? <laughs> so she in cried. my words, yeah. So she's upset. <laughs> yes, it's true. But anyway. that, that stuff, the stuff that I learn when I'm like studying for the book is good for, you know, because we're both fascinated by the mind. Yeah. We love the mind. And you literally work all day, every day with trauma clients, people that are moving through trauma. Yeah. Actually, before you move into, I know this is a business pod podcast, but how about we talk about trauma? Yeah. Do you want to? Sure. What do you want to talk about? I'm still reading my book, though. Yeah. I feel like it'd be better when I finish the book because I don't want you to tell me what's in that book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good book. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. let's wait till I finish the book and then we can dive into it because then I'll we be will. like, 
Geeking out on it. Can't wait to talk about it. I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, where what's what's going on with the shed at the moment then, buddy? Everything. I got my gate. Yes. I never thought I'd be emotional That's massive. <laughs> about fucking the gate, but I was. Mm-hmm. It was so good. So thanks to Adrian for doing that. Yes. And the shed is yeah, it's so good. I'm just like absolutely frothing on the people that come in. I've been very lucky, and they're all bloody amazing. And just everyone that obviously steps in there, like breath work is work. It's mm-hmm. it's hard. Um, so everyone that comes in and just, yeah, has the best time ever. And there always seems to be like a theme that's going on. I'm not sure what the, the energetic thing is with that. Like this week was like, we were talking about the love languages and that happened a lot. And last week it was like self-love stuff. And there always seems to be like a theme, theme of the week. I feel yeah. like I should maybe like incorporate that into the class, like the, the weekly classes. Cause it's unless just let it do itself. But yeah, it's going really good. And I'm thinking about doing memberships, so that'll be fun. You're going to do memberships, aren't you? Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of like on the brink of it, but yeah, I think I will. Because it's good. It's, it's a great, it's a, like a, it's a cheaper option for people that want to come more than more once than a week once, and yeah. really get into it. Because that's the thing about breath work is that, you know, it's so, so congruent with um, releasing trauma, releasing mm. stuck energy, as you would say, and deconditioning those patterns Releasing of beliefs shit. yeah exactly <laughs> they've been blocked up for for years and years and years mm. um but it's also about weekly exfoliation oh yeah as you say well that's what well, i explain that what does that mean well i just like to get out of my head once a week i like to feel really good and it's kind of like a reset for me like it's a yeah. huge reset and most people that are coming are coming like once a week because it's just like their way of like feeling good and stuff so yeah yeah it's so good we um this is obviously this is going into a little bit of the trauma stuff, which is in that book. Um, the body keeps the score, by the way. I'm not giving anything away because this is what we it. talk about yeah. all the time. But we live in such a fast, distracted world yeah. in this day and age, and we can have built up stress, residual stress from the day, from the week. And if we don't give ourselves time to let that move through the body, physiologically through the mm. breath. Or just sit with it through or a meditation. Just meditating, yeah. Exactly. We don't like integrate it into our lives, you know, that can stay in us and it can have major adverse effects, ripple effects down the line. And a very, very easy example of this is like, let's say um, I'm driving in my car on my way to work in the morning and then someone pulls in front of me really fast and I get really, really afraid because obviously, like, I could die. Like, that would freak me out. Yeah. And then all of that fear stays in my body in preparation for fight or flight mode. But then um, instead of instead of like using it, fight or flight, I'm like, because he's already driven off. So I can't be like, hey, you, but, or whatever. I'm just like really scared. It stays in my body. And then it stays in my body all throughout the day because I'm naturally, let's say, for and example. And it makes a cozy wee home. Yes. And then it goes can go into the immune system. It can give you injuries. If you, but you do breath work, so you breathe it out. Very true. But the worst thing that could happen, this is why weekly exfoliation of built up stress is so important, especially mm. in a breathwork shed, is because if I came home that night, I've still got all this pent up either fear or rage simultaneously in my body. Siobhan says, how was your day or something? Or let's just say I trip over a pair of shoes or something and I just have a massive go at you for mm. like for seemingly yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with the shoes, despite the fact they could be like a minor inconvenience. I've let all of that stress out that was built up from the morning when that guy nearly jumped, hit my car, and I've let it all out on you. Like, that can ruin relationships if that happens yeah, more well, often than not. Yeah, well, that's why people should, your mind should be like as important as your body. Like, fuck, people go to the gym like five, six times a week. It's like, cool, well, what do you do for your mind? Like, meditate, go out in nature, like, you know, hang out with friends, you know, yeah. the group. There's loads of different things, but what are you doing? I don't even get out of people who don't prioritize their mind. I know, it's it the most me. important thing. <laughs> yeah, sense yeah. of self and awareness. Yeah, anyway, that's why I've created The Shed and you've got Miami Counseling because we're like, you've got to fucking train your mind. I know, absolutely, absolutely, Seriously. absolutely. Yeah, it's, um, and even like, I mean, because obviously the body-mind connection um, the vagus nerve, Stephen Porges, yes. that sort of stuff. That's real, but you have to know the mind to know how to train the body because everyone says, we used to be CrossFit coaches for years and years and years. Oh and yeah. everyone would say, oh, it's just a good way for, for me to relieve stress. 
You're doing the opposite. They're opposite. You're literally yeah. putting on more stress. Or I've got to get fit before I can do it. Yeah. How do you think you get fit? Yeah. It's, yeah. I just want to get, I want to attain peace of mind before I start meditating. Yeah. I want to get really calm before I meditate. We could do this for a long time. I know, let's just But talk. one more, one cool. more for example is... Um, <laughs> Wait, one more, one, one more. One more, one more. I want to, I want to deal with my trauma before, before I try breath work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, breath work is perfect for people that say they can't meditate, by the way. Because the amount of times I'm like, I hear people, I can't meditate, I can't meditate. This is actual work. And you do the breath part and you work for the 30 minutes doing the breath. So it's up to you to like, you know, and that just relaxes you. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. And you don't, like, like we said in the show, you don't have to have, depending, I mean, having studied it, you know. We, you don't have to have what? We, we both know that trauma is a subjective thing that there have been things in everyone's moment that has skewed their perception of themselves and their reality oh, of so depending on what word you want to call that those experiences can be probably were traumatic mm. but you don't necessarily need to have had a traumatic experience to do breath work it's more i would say it's probably more important for the weekly exfoliation thing like yeah. the the daily stress release the weekly stress release get it out of your system so that you're not projecting, you know, and you're just on top you of yourself. You just feel so fucking good. Yeah. It is the best feeling ever, post-breath work. And, I mean, all the people that have done breath work with me have said the same thing. The post-breath work glow? Oh, it's the best. And it just yeah. makes your face drop. And, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's so good. Anyway, in terms of business stuff, what's what's the next plan? Well, it's this podcast, my dearest... Uh, partner sure mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm really enjoying this podcast i think you and i um have been wanting to do this for a very long time i know well we've si- actually you've been telling me to do one for ages and yeah. i was like no no it's just not my thing and then you're like why don't we do it together i know we should i think we're both interested in similar things our conversations obviously otherwise we wouldn't be going out with each other yeah. we think are very interesting we're interested in the mind <laughs> and we're always learning something from each other mm-hmm. and um we thought it'd be good to you know give that back to people as well and yeah we also thought it would be really cool to take people on a journey as we build our yeah, businesses so like they know where we're starting because what the shed is four months four months old yeah and my mate counseling is probably around the time same time five months really shit yeah so we started about the same time about the same time yeah wow. you forced me to start it well Did I? you deeply encouraged me to yeah Probably. Well, I, I got the business entity, the business name first, and all that sort of stuff. Hmm. And then, because um, you, you were like, I'm jumping in, I'm just do this shit. And I'm like, oh, that's sick. <laughs> I'm we'll signing the lease. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, it's fun, you know, that it's happening. We've just started everything. It's really early. Mm. It'd be so exciting to look back on all this in a couple of years' time and, and have a think about hopefully where we could be, which is getting goals. We'll have bigger coffee cups and bigger, bigger signs. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, mm. But it's it. also cool in terms of the business stuff to document it along the way yeah. so that we can show people what worked and what didn't work. Yeah. Like we're, we're trying Facebook groups at the moment. We're doing lots of different content creation yeah. with marketing, podcasts. So this podcasts. is me like pre, pre-memberships yes. kind of work. And this is you like doing virtual going into your... This is pre-consulting. Well. This yeah. is pre-consulting, which I because want to move to into like, as well. Go back and see. Yeah, yeah, I know. And for everyone else to follow along, I guess, because if you're out there wanting to start a business, like, fucking do it. Absolutely. Do it. This Does is it, your sign. Take the leap. Well, it doesn't have to be a business. It's just anything that you want to do that you maybe haven't yet done. Like, we say business because... That's what we did. That was... That worked for us. That's what we wanted, I should say. But if say. you want to do any creative venture... Yeah, book writing... Book writing, anything, that's singing. a potential business because you can then market it with a social media app yeah. and then sell it so that you can do it more often than not because this is what's fascinating. This is something that we were discussing today is those incredible entrepreneurs out there always talk about how you shouldn't work for money, you should make money work for you. Mm. And then the way I see that as you don't, you don't figure out how much money you need or how much money you're going to get and then try to find the job that serves that purpose. You think about the life you want to have and then you think about how you can make money living that life. Your ideal day. Exactly. That should be another, that could be We nice will do podcast. that for sure. That's Definitely. so important that's for us. Everyone. Yeah, the ideal day. And um, that's what we would do. We love spending time together. Yeah. And we love drinking coffee. Yeah. And, and chatting about... Podcast. 
business like <laughs> <and> psychology. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So we thought it'd be really fun to start us off. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Cool. All right. Any uh, housekeeping things, Bon? Things need mentioning? No, just if you like, if you got any kind of golden nuggets from it or liked anything or didn't tell us. Yes. Want us to talk about more about something or dive deep into something, let us know. Um, and we're so open for like people to like have like conversation starters or topics. Um, yeah. Yeah. And just subscribe. Follow along. We would love it if um, you did have questions that you'd send them to us and then we can do a and a podcast yeah, episode we'll once a month well. or something yeah. and then just answer the questions that you guys want answered. Um, they can be about anything, about things that we're learning in the entrepreneurial journey, things that we've learnt um, in the in the psychology space, mm-hmm. trauma, um, counselling over here, anxiety, anxiety depression, mm-hmm. that sort of stuff. We find yeah. that stuff very interesting because that's hum- it's humanity. Yeah, mm. love it.